I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my video blog. We are at the 2012 World Championships all week. We've got the beautiful backdrop of Rennie Gold, hole number 18 behind us. But there's not much talk besides the Michael Joe perfect round or near perfect round Close. from yesterday. Yeah. Tell everybody at home, it's the talk everywhere. There's a lot of champions being crowned. We got lots of great footage from people out here today. But tell us a little bit about your round yesterday. Oh, it was a really nice round. I just hit, I was consistently hitting my lines. And out there, if you hit your lines, it rewards you with putts. And I really didn't miss any putts. Clearly not. I mean, uh, some of those gaps, I have pictures. Some of those gaps can be as little as eight to 10 feet wide. And you were 300, yeah. 400 feet, you were just throwing them right down it. Oh yeah, but it's, I'm from around here. So those gaps actually look pretty good. And so, <laughs> I mean, there's also nice clean areas off the fairway. So, you know, the rough isn't too bad right off the bat. So you have a little room to work through. At what point did you think it was truly magical? I mean, you clearly started, would you start on hole two? Yeah, hole two. Which I'm, is 613 I feet with a pond behind got, it. I just got going and just <laughs> kept it going. I even laid up on hole 12 and just, I was like, I'm just going to protect my round. Just <laughs> not even worry about it because I was like 50, 60 footer from out of the woods. I'm like, nope, no worries. Just keep it clean and see if I can come in because I know from there on out, it's pretty much a birdie fest. Sure. So just see if you can keep them straight. And, and, and that was, in fact, what everyone was talking about is, okay, well, what hole did he, hole did he actually miss? <laughs> and uh, that's, uh, what, over 600 feet yeah, with par double OB and, and some mounds and everything else. So it's a pretty challenging hole. Uh, we're going to cut to a clip here on hole two at Rennie. I was playing today a card mate of mine, Jamie Mosier, who came in with a 61, uh, actually rang chains here on hole two. Oh, two? Right. And so hope you enjoy that shot. Um, you're uh, sitting on a little bit of a lead right now. Maybe one. I think one. Paul caught a couple back. And we're talking about Paul McBeth, obviously a superstar. Now, you guys are going to battle it out. We've got, what, about two rounds, two and a half rounds to go uh, if you include finals? Two, three and three, a half. Three and, three and, half, three and, three and a half three rounds, yeah. semifinals. I don't have to worry about as many rounds as you do, but anyway. <laughs> um, anything else you want? Any parting shots here? No, I'm just looking to have some fun throughout the rest of the week. It's been nice to have it in my hometown, go home, sleep in your own bed every night. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. Unofficially rated uh, 1,112 round. We'll right. see how that fin uh, finishes out. One of the best rounds in world's history. Uh, congratulations on that. We wish you the uh, luck the rest of the week. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Michael Joe. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. No problem. I'm the Disc Golf Guy. We're getting rained on in our afternoon Charlotte storms. So we're getting out of here and we'll catch you guys tomorrow.